Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this TypeScript video tutorial, we will learn about the symbol. So these are the points that we are going to cover in this video. We will see what is the symbol. Then we will make a program with the symbol, and uh, we will just focus on the two things. One is uh, symbol as a key of object and symbol as a function of class. All right. And after this video, you will feel very conf confident with the symbol, and uh, if you need to use this symbol in your actual programming on your project then you are able to use it also so now let's start so first thing is that what is the symbol so symbol is a primitive data type in the typescript uh, such as an array object number string this is the same there is a new data type you can say that it is a symbol and uh, symbol is also produce a unique id all right how it produce produce a unique id i will just show you let's take a s1 as a symbol just write here symbol and uh, when you using the symbol you cannot use a new keyboard here like this it will just give you give you to the error right so if i'm just going to uh, make the two ids like s1 and s2 all right and you just want to compare the both of them console dot one s1 triple equal to s2 then it will just give to false because it produced the unique id and for that let's take out the two uh, tabs for the command line and here just convert the file ts to js just write a typescript compiler app dot ts minus minus watch and here we can just simply write here node app.js all right and you can see that the case is false so now the question is that can we able to see the id of s1 uh, actually not we cannot see the id if if you just want to print it then you will see that symbol zero all right and if you just print the both of them s2 then you will find the result like this but you can never get the id of this unique symbol all right but they are unique even just if you just want to compare the lots of symbol then still they are not going to match so after that um, let's see can we provide some string here yes we can use some string like uh, um, data one or here you can just provide here data two right and if you just want to get this data then you can just simply use it like s1 dot to string all right and it will just provide you the normal string like this okay so now uh, let's come to the real point that how we can reuse them so let's say you have some dynamic object or dynamic class so mm, in the programming there is a very uh, low chances to making a dynamic class but still if you just want to use them then and uh, we want we just need to some dynamic function function name then the symbol is the best choice choice so now let's see how we can use them so i'm just going to comment it out line and let's make an object then we will uh, go over the class so let's make an object like data and data has a key like uh, s1 and i can just simply use here uh, some data right and now i can just simply call it console dot one data dot s1 right and let's check out the output here you can see there's some data but this key is not a symbol actually so if you just want to use the variable of uh, which we use the symbol then we can use in like array like this and now you can see that we are able to uh, okay so i just have to remove this dot from here and now you can see that the result is same so that we can use this symbol as a key also and uh, after that let's say we just want to use inside the class then how we can use so let's make a class with the name of demo and it have a function uh, like get data and it's returning some like data some data like or whatever just want to print and let's make an object uh, let 
d equal to new demo right and here we can just use console dot warn d dot get data and we will get this result here so let's check it out some data we are getting here that's perfect now see that how we can just convert this function name with the uh, symbol so you can just put here um, get data and this is the you can see that uh, part of symbol and uh, now you can just simply call it like this and you can just make the function like this also it's great and uh, now let's try to get the output here and the output is still same and you can just write here with symbol so that you can just see the change in console so that's all uh, that uh, this is also working with the function also so this is the way that how you can use the symbol for dynamic programming if you still have uh, any confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care